Hi, Jib. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? You're the first one today. Hello. Luigi? I, okay. I was just thinking about you and not in a weird way. I was editing streams and I was like, it's been a while. Hi, man. Did we get some yos for Luigi? It's been a hot minute. I hope you've been doing well, man. I have no work till next week. Let's... Oh, wait, month? Are you in trouble? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> or are you just taking time off, which is honestly a slay. work until like forever because streaming isn't a job right my jaws fall because they're unorganized okay that hmm you know what you could do you could um see if you can file for a loss of wages through unemployment because if, if it's their l like if they're if it's their scheduling issue you can maybe see i mean because usually you can apply for that if they like intentionally cut your hours or like during um pandemic like how people were just like working less you, maybe see if you can apply for unemployment. Like, unemployment is not just for people who got um, laid off or fired. It can also apply to people who get their hours cut. Depending on the company, you can maybe get it. By the way, that sucks. And you should... You know what you should do? You should make a TikTok and then get them cancelled. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Face cam on in one minute? Hashtag real, hashtag not clickbait. I'm gonna wait until May to quit. Giga Chad. I mean, that's when most employers anticipate that people will leave the company. Like, at like, either the end of the school year or the beginning. So, even if you're like, not in high school or not in college, employers should be ready for that, so... wanted to like be dramatic and quit and be super extra but I've, I've always turned in notices mainly because I'm like I don't want to burn bridges but let's be honest bridges don't matter for like entry-level jobs I'll say it Face cam on in three, two, one. Yo, good morning. Okay, I'll turn the music down. Good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. It's currently 10.51 a.m. And welcome in Luigi and Chip to the starting soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. I said I was going... Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Well, I'm glad you're here. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Thank you. I was, cause like, legit, whenever I don't see a chatter for like more than three months, I'm either like, they hate me or something happened. I hope you're okay. 
But thank you for being here. We're playing Mario Kart. So it's gonna be fun. This is gonna put a smile on your face. Look. Okay. I'm glad to hear the procedure worked. I might have to get surgery as well. So we can be like surgery buddies. <laughs> okay. Oh, I still have the band-aid. I would swap it out. This one is healed, but now that this thumb has an orange band-aid. Okay, what was I saying? Um... I'm really pissed off. So, I've been waiting on a callback from my doctor since Wednesday, okay? They were supposed to call me Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I scheduled a call this morning. It's not like a virtual visit, they just have to talk about my test results. And I didn't get a call back this morning. I'm like, I'm so mad. Because I told them, I was like, I've called back every day the past three days. And I've gotten no call back. And they said, yes, Peason, we will schedule a call. But they didn't call me this morning. Can I make a TikTok and, like, cancel them? It's a really big health company. I'll do it. <laughs> Just kidding, I won't. I won't. I'm gonna call them when I end stream, and I'm gonna go full Karen mode. I'll do it. Anyway, so I'm mad. And you know what I do when I'm mad? I play Mario Kart. Um... Plan today is simple. Yesterday, we beat the actual story for Eastward DLC. I finally did it. I finally did it. So, I'm at 95% achievements. So today, we're gonna do Mario Kart for a little bit, do some story times. I got my cue cards, I got some new stories. And then, 100%ing Eastward DLC, Octopia. I'm gonna do it today. And then we can put it behind us. And I think tomorrow, like I said, I'm gonna be continuing my... Paranormal Sight playthrough. I have about like 5-6 hours left of it. So if you missed the other half of the game, Click the play- or find the playlist on my VOD channel. The game is called Paranormal Sight. It's a really good horror game. I do full voice acting. It's genuinely really good. I'm gonna turn the lights off tomorrow. It's gonna be really scary. Okay, anything else? My finger still hurts. I- I think I cut it open more. Cause this morning- Cause when I sleep, I sleep like this. And I- I think I agitated my thumb more cause it was bleeding this morning. But it's fine. What else? Any other big drama? Nothing really. I can only really stream until like 4 p.m. today because my sister wants me to go with her to do errands, you know, adult stuff. So I gotta do that today. I'm gonna make it quick. I'm gonna speed run Mario Kart and I'm gonna speed run the Octopia DLC, get the final 5%. Okay, I think I'm ready to go now. Before we get started, make sure, if you haven't already, um, click the pin chat. New YouTube video, click the link, open it in a new tab, watch it later. <laughs> okay. Let's play some freaking Mario Kart. It's been weeks. Wait, I also forgot. If you follow my Twitter, I might have kind of leaked what I'm going to do tomorrow for Pokemon Day. I'm not going to leak here, but tomorrow, since it's Pokemon Day, we're going to do a special Pokemon stream tomorrow afternoon, okay? Be there. You, you guys kind of have to watch that stream. It's going to have viewer interaction, so um, watch tomorrow. <clears throat> Mario Kart. When was the last time I even played? Because I only really play on stream, which is kind of bad. Let's do comic. Why do I have this car? Wait. Oh yeah, it's because the wait, the last time I played was for a sub only. And I was like, you know what? I'll try a different build. Going back to the OG. Yoshi! I'm trying to figure out which tracks I need to practice. Okay, I need to practice Spiny Cup and then Cherry Cup. I can't use my right arm for now, but it should come back with therapy. That's good. But I can play Mario Kart Wii. Wait, I played Mario Kart Wii last month in January, and I could not do tilt controls. Like, I've tried tilt controls for the Switch version. Dude, I can't. <laughs> I know there's, like, people online who have modded controllers to make them more accessible, like, single hand, 
I know there's some people who play with like, um, who have like full lack of mobility. They'll have like, oh my god! <laughs> I never went that far in the ocean. <laughs> They'll have like alternate alternative controllers they can use. I think there was one stream where I tried to play Mario Kart with like my controller upside down like this, and I couldn't do it. That's why like I'm enjoying my mobility while I have it. And I'm reveling in it. Easy? I can't remember if I was younger or okay, it was when I was younger, but when I was younger, I either I either sprained my ankle or my wrist. I legit can't remember. And it's because our room was so cluttered and dirty. It wasn't dirty, we just had toys all over the floor. And I slipped on the top one. So in order to like get to the floor, I had to swing from the ladder onto the bottom bed. And there was one day, okay, I legit can't remember if it was my wrist or my ankle, but I slammed one of them so hard on the bed frame that I sprained it. And I went to school that morning, like, in pain, but I didn't say anything because I didn't want my parents to get mad. And I went to the nurse's office, like, an hour to school because, like, it hurt so much. And my parents were mad when they picked me up and they took me to urgent care. And I sprained whatever body part it was, and I had to wear a brace for, like, three weeks. I think it was my wrist. Because, wait, I'm, I'm thinking. Because I would grab onto the bunk like this and then swing with one hand. Yeah I, would, yeah, I think it was my left wrist. Because I would swing with my right hand on the bunk. But other than that, like, I've never broken anything. My knees are busted, but they've always been kind of busted. <laughs> Did y'all not clean your room at all? Okay, stop. <laughs> our mom would have us clean our room, like, once every few weeks. Like, our room wasn't dirty. It was just cluttered. So, like, toys would be all over the floor. Because the way that my sister and I played when we were younger, like, we liked making, like, huge scenes and environments. Like, we made a little Barbie house out of, like, a bookshelf. So we liked leaving the toys out. Because having to put away all the dolls and stuff, it's like ruining- He's sniping. It's like ruining the RP, right? Or that's what we told our mom, but she didn't, like, she didn't buy it. <laughs> I am- I'm warming up. I also haven't used a pro controller in so long. It's because my sister's been hoarding it in her room. Like, she asked for her pro controller back, and, like, she didn't use it for two weeks. She still hasn't beaten. What's the most recent Zelda game? I know what it's called. Tears of the Kingdom. And she keeps saying she's gonna play it, but she never does. Easy. Dude, how do you cut me off? Oh, and Serio? Dude, these computers are so good with the bananas. Check, but I think I do have three stars in every 200 CC. Three. I almost said trophy. I gotta double check. I think I do. Imagine I didn't, then I wouldn't be a god gamer. <laughs> Dude, I think it's so funny. <laughs> Whenever I title this stream God Gamer, I get so many clicks. <laughs> and it's, it's funny because like I'm really bad. Okay, I'm not bad. I'm like. I'm decent. I'm like, I think I'm better than like 60% of people on Earth. Which is what, a, a C? No, that's a D. A C is a 70. I think I'm better than 70% of the people on Earth. I'm still learning Koopa Cave. 
Oh, wait, that shell almost went under me. That would have been sick. Okay, I think the left path is easier. I think I do want to do, like, a week's worth of streams at some point where, like, I genuinely try pro strengths and do the meta. I think that'd be really fun. Here's that the kingdom is a good game, but I can't get past the final fight. I watched somebody play the final fight in a stream. Dude, I would just give up. I think the longest fight I ever did in a game was for Super Mario RPG. Like, in the end game, there's like secret bosses. And I played it on stream. I beat all of the, I think, eight extra bosses in one sitting. And legit, the final, final secret boss took an hour. And RPG, of course, is turn-based. I'm surprised... I'm surprised I didn't, like, zone out. But, like, an RPG fight is fine, because you're just pressing buttons. But when you're doing a fight where it's, like, 3D combat, I would not be able to stay focused for that long. <laughs> My sister's the opposite. Like, she can be dialed in for long periods of time. She's just... She's just stalling on saving Zelda. She legit wants to get like 100% accomplishments. And I'm like, dude. You cannot. You're not a speedrunner. Easy. I've not played Mario RPG. It's pretty good. It came out in December. I. How long did it take me? I did it on stream, so of course it took longer. But it's pretty good. If you like Mario, if you like RPGs, you'll like Super Mario RPG. And the Switch port is so nice, and all the music is remastered, is generally visually interesting. It was so funny. I posted, um, the YouTube video that's pinned at top of chat. It's, I ranked all the DLC tracks. And the comment I got was like, okay, my top four tracks are this, this, and this, and they're literally like all of my least favorite tracks. <laughs> I think it's because I didn't play Mario Kart Tour at all besides that one time on stream. And honestly, Tour is kind of an L. I'd rather- oh my god! I've never been that high. I'd rather bring my Switch to school than play Tour. I knew that was gonna happen. These computers. Oh, why? I don't have this track memorized. I've only played it like five times. I do wanna see how many hours I have in Mario Kart. I feel like I'm gonna be so embarrassed though. Easy. Imagine I got a horn. Imagine. I've never gone left for that roundabout. I've always gone right. Watch this. Oh, that was close. Okay, watch this. That'll hit him. I hate this track. How does anybody? How does anybody <laughs> like this track? <laughs> Now I get the horn. Thank you. I hate this game. 
I kind of want to just go straight to online. I want to, like, feel good. <clears throat> also, I love my new scrunchies so much. I can do, like, high ponies, and it doesn't look... Okay, it doesn't look horrible. It's because the elastic is still new. And apparently you're not supposed to put things that have elastic in the dryer, but I still do it anyway because I'm a rebel. So I put both my new scrunchies in the dryer, and they work perfect. My sister's controller is greasy. Awkward. My goal this year is to get 10k rank. When I started streaming... Three years ago? <laughs> I think my rank was like four or five thousand. Also, I keep on getting comments of people being like, Rose Gold Peach Skull Emoji, why are you playing her? And somebody commented on a- Screw this. I'll close and reopen the game. So somebody commented on my YouTube last night. And then I was like, I just like how she looks. And then they replied back, she sounds like a fish. And then it sunk in. Because her taunts are kind of like her, like, almost purring. And I was like, oh. Is that why people don't like her? I just think she looks cool. I don't know. Luigi card A. I want to do the other Link skin. Nope, I misclicked. There we go. Green on green on green. Okay. I'll play it for like an hour. I'll do an hour of online. You know the drill? Prediction. Will peace in get first at all today? I'll leave it open for five minutes. Everybody, go Gamba! Do you think I will get first at all today? And as promised, if I get first, chat will get us up. I can afford it today. I got... I got $10. So you guys get one sub. Go Gamba, do you think I will get first? Did I hear the game correctly? Did it say Luigi Kart? Yes! I don't know what you have to do in order to unlock that loading screen, but... Wait, actually, let's look it up. We have time. <laughs> if, I know it's whenever you get certain, like, achievements. You get certain... Or you get new loading screens at the beginning. Um, unlock... Different starting screens... Mario Kart. Okay, to unlock the alternative title screens, you must win Gold Cups in Mirror Mode and 200cc. So you have to get first in every single cup. So a gold trophy in every single cup. At 200 in mirror mode. Because there's a... One of the loading screens is Luigi. There's a Link. There's a screen that has all the characters on it, I think. But I usually just get the Link one. Oh, there's one with Rosalina as well. Wait, she's doing a Mega Dance. I still have to film the Omega Dance emote. I forgot to film it the other night. I'm not good at any of these. Yeah, I think it's about time I break into these. You know what else it's time for? 11-11. Make a wish, everyone. 
Also, if you're new here, click follow because we are 30 minutes into stream. Can we hit our goal? Since we haven't played Mario Kart in like three weeks, I got a I got a handful of things. <laughs> Dude, one of them is so bad. It's so bad. I didn't do 200 CC to unlock it, so it's probably mirror mode. I think you have to do every. It's either every single cup, or the first result on Google said mirror mode and 200 CC, which. I think I have gold trophies in every single pre, just not three stars. Okay, there's gotta be an accomplishment for three stars. I, I'm, I ain't doing it though. Mm mm. Okay, watch this. Dude, perfect! Almost perfect. I still got it. How oh, they missed the item box? Imagine. Okay, my lines are perfect. I'm cracked. Wait! Wait. Oh my goodness, I'm actually cracked. Clippers! Imagine I get first on the first race. I don't know if I can hold though. Okay, doing the skit, that's like, not chill. I can still catch up. All I need is a blue shell. HK got first place last race. Pause? A ghost and a star, weird. Oh my god, oh my god. first place! Crazy. I could have done a better drift on that final turn. Second place? Rainbow Road? First race of the day? Believers. Your second, though? I was so close. I was like this close. I cooked my momentum at the end. I'll take a second. Dang, I'm feeling good. Stream ends when I get first. Change the title. I kind of want to change my me. It doesn't look like me. I forgot how to change my me and the switch though. No me recuerdo. Okay, let's get into our first story of the day. Get to yapping.
Screw you, man. <laughs> I'm good. Anyway. You know, I'm 24, turning 25 soon, and I like to think I'm mature. But there are times where I'm pretty stubborn. And it's not necessarily being stubborn towards other people, it's more like I'm stubborn against myself in my own head. And I think the biggest example of that is if I'm at the store, like at the grocery shop, and I'm in a line, I will stay in that line. I ain't leaving. There was- okay, I have two different stories for this. I was at Walmart a few weeks ago, and there was this lady, she had a cart full of stuff, and she was by herself. And she was checking out, and it took her forever, legit forever, to get her cards out of her bag. And then, turns out she didn't have enough money on her card. So she was calling people, asking them to send her money, and then she also apparently had her kid in the parking lot. So she kept calling her kid, like on the phone, being like, you need to get your ass back inside this store. And me and my roommate are just looking at each other like, um, cause she's like screaming on the phone with her kid, right? But I was like, I'm not getting out of this line. I was like, I'm not stepping out. If you want to change lines, we can. He's like, no, it's fine. So it took this lady like 15 minutes to check out. And like half the time she's like screaming at her kid eventually the kid comes inside the store and it's like this 14 year old tween and she and her mom is like yelling at her for vaping and i'm just like in line like eating my popcorn not really but i was like oh my god and then more commonly so that was like the craziest thing that i saw like in public in general but if it's just like a normal trip to the grocery store and it's like I got three mothers in front of me with two cards each. I will stay on that line. I ain't switching. Because in my head, okay, <laughs> I've worked in service before. Not customer service, but food service. So, like, I feel really shitty whenever, like, I have a full lobby and somebody walks in the door, they see the line and they walk out. I think it's kind of similar sentiment. Like, if I'm the cashier and I see somebody leave the line, I'm like, dang it. Or... I would think it would make them work faster. Because anytime, like, the shop is loaded with people, those cashiers are going, thru, 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 they're going so quick, which they shouldn't have to. There should be more cashiers in general. Wait, did you guys hear how, like, Target is trying to, like, get rid of all real cashiers? I think that's crazy. Like, yes, automation is cool and self-checkout is a blessing sometimes. But you should still have people on the floor. Like, you're still gonna need people to monitor the self-checkout area. Guys, first place, Clippers! Oh my god! <laughs> I threw the wrong way. I feel really bad whenever I'm doing self-checkout and I have a question. Because you know the person manning self-checkout is like monitoring like the six to eight people. And I feel really bad asking them questions, but it's more often than not they're the only like person I see in the store. With robots or with self-checkouts? I think at Target it's they're installing like more self-checkout stations. Wait, has any store, like, had robots yet? Wasn't it McDonald's who had, like, a fully automated store? There's, like, one McDonald's in Texas or some shit, I think. But how jarring would it be to, like, see, like, a robot take your order? Wait, they have them in Japan. I know there's some dining services where they have, like, robots that'll bring food to your table, but I think for some of them, like, people still operate them, like, remotely. I think my sister, she went to California a while ago, and there was one- Oh my god, I'm in second place! There was one restaurant where they had, like, robots bringing the food to the tables. But it's, it's not commonplace in the States yet, I don't think. I'm done. I 
I just need to stop yapping. You know, I haven't yapped in a while. I've been playing so much freaking Eastward. I'm in last place. <laughs> I love Mario Kart. It's so much fun. Why am I getting such shit tracks? I don't like any of the tracks we've gotten today. Give me like coconut bowl. <laughs> you know what? If stores are gonna go with like fully automated checkouts, they should have the robots look like people. That'd be cool. Because you know what? Risen, the robot that looks like a TV, is <laughs> not working out for me. <laughs> Moo Moo Meadows. You guys couldn't see it. the other day and they got like kind of annoyed with me because i was telling them how whenever i have like an uber ride or if anybody in public like asks what i do for work okay granted streaming is not a job for me yet i don't make bank just yet give me like a year that would have been an insane swing so like if anybody asks me what i do i also like don't want to leak it was like what if somebody is a twitch watcher right so I usually just say that, oh, you know, I'm a social media manager, or I'm an editor, you know, I, I edit people's TikToks, which is kind of true, because I do edit for myself, I technically do social media, I don't post much, but you know, I do YouTube and stuff, um, and my friend was like, why would you lie about that? I'm like, I don't have to, like, find me, I don't have my name on anything, but you know, they might see a face and they'll be like, oh my god. I saw Peason in the Uber I drove yesterday. And also, like, it's- I think it's still kind of embarrassing to say that, like, you're a traitor. But then I've also thought about, like, how weird is it to say that you're a video editor? Like, what are people going to assume you edit? You know what I mean? Like, I would just say that, oh yeah, I work for a media company. But what media company? Oh my god, they're sniping! I think McDonald's has one location that is self-order in the location so everybody can work in the kitchen. Oh, is that what I was thinking of? I think that's what I was talking about earlier. I, I was thinking about something else. Okay, maybe we'll look this up later. But I know that there is one McDonald's that has all the kiosks that people can order themselves. Or the drive throughs are automated. It would make sense to have people still in the kitchen, though. I watched the food theory video that was comparing different ways of like ordering out food and they concluded that the most accurate way whether it be like ordering online ordering at the register drive-thru or at the self-serve kiosks like where you go through the menu and type what you want they found that going through the self-serve kiosk is the most accurate 
which to me makes sense because usually that order goes straight to the kitchen and usually those kiosks are through the actual franchises like POS system because a big issue that I saw when I was working in food sometimes our like Uber or DoorDash orders were glitched so like sometimes it would have like the wrong item name or it would have like the wrong customization and like it wasn't our fault it was just like a glitch in the UI like sometimes as a consumer sometimes like the DoorDash UI will be glitched as well um and then I personally hate ordering through drive through I always get really annoyed when my, whenever my roommates order through drive through because both of my roommates are very quiet so they don't talk loud enough and also my sister just hates ordering so she will tell whoever's ordering like in the driver's seat over and over again what she wants but then she'll talk over the person like my roommate ordering to the cashier sometimes and it's really frustrating like if i have the choice i will always go for the kiosk because then in my head if i choose the wrong thing it's my fault because i'm the one who typed in the machine Ooh, that was a good green shell snipe. Not by me. Talking about automation. Now, you guys can't get mad at me for this take. I understand the whole hype around AI when it comes to art and production. I do agree that it will take away jobs in the future. But I genuinely do hope, through either unions or just like company policies, that they will not use AI for like final products. I think it makes sense to use AI art for like concepting out and like hashing out ideas or like maybe potentially storyboarding. But I genuinely don't think it will completely phase out like human artists. I still don't support AI, I personally don't use it. If I see somebody use it, I'll give them shit. But if you think about it, there are machines that make food. Like, most of the food you get at the grocery store are made by machines, right? Like, your frozen meals, your chicken nuggets, it's made in factories. But you still have people who enjoy getting human-made food, like dine-in, fast food. There will always be a market for craftsmanship. Convenience will outplay craftsmanship at some point, but there will always be an audience for human-made things. That's like my second second. And I got a third earlier. Maybe I'm cracked. Okay, it is 11.30 on a Monday. It is not holiday. Last Monday was a holiday, right? Yeah, it's President's Day. <laughs> I don't like any of these. I do appreciate, like, handmade goods and food, but I think the worst example of, like, a dine-in experience I had was I went out for pizza with a friend a few weekends ago. And it wasn't holiday or anything, but we went at, like, it was, like, 3 p.m. on a Saturday. So not even, like, le that late in the day. Like, usually 1 till 4 is like the lowest hours of business for a restaurant so we get to this place there's three doors none of which are marked clearly as the entryway so we technically walked in like a side door <laughs> and then like it took a while for them to sit us like one of the cooks had to give us a table because the server wasn't doing shit or they were doing other stuff And the person had to sit by like all the kids. Cause obviously there was like half the restaurant where there's like tables for four, 
and then larger tables. So this person sat us at a table that is meant to sit like six people, but it was just me and my one friend. Okay, I think this is too much CC. <laughs> so it took them 20 minutes for the actual server to come to our table. And keep in mind, everybody else who's in this restaurant is eating. There's nobody else waiting. Okay, wait. Scratch that. There was per one person waiting for food. There was like a couple. But they walked out because they were sitting... They were in the restaurant before. So they probably were waiting for like 20 minutes. But then they walked out. Anyway. So the server comes to our table after 20 minutes. Didn't even offer utensils or water. Mind you. <laughs> Came to our table. Ordered. Took our order. It took them an hour to make the pizzas. And our pizzas were like little six inches. <laughs> they were tiny. <gasps> Game changer! They were tiny. It took them an hour to make the pizzas. And me and my friend were looking around the restaurant. There's nobody else waiting for food. A few people came in after us. And we look at their ticket screen. And their ticket has like six pizzas on it. We're like, ain't no way those were all online orders. Like that? That's crazy. And from where we were sitting, we could barely see the kitchen. They had four cooks. Four people making pizzas. How did it take an hour to make all those pizzas? And keep in mind, I said there was like six tickets on their screen. Only like one person came up to pick up an order for delivery. And it was just one pizza. I was like, where are all these other people ordering pizzas that aren't getting them? So it took an hour for service. So me and my friend waited an hour and a half, essentially, for two $20 six-inch pizzas. Granted, they were really good, but an hour and a half for that is crazy. Don't places have appetizers? This place, the only appetizer they had was salad, which I'm dieting, but like, I'm not eating a freaking salad. If I told my friend, if I ever go out to eat and I eat salad, just, just kill me. In Minecraft. Because, like, a salad is the most overpriced thing you can buy, like, basically anywhere. It's just leaves, dressing, maybe cheese. Maybe croutons. You can make that shit at home. Don't ever order a salad. If you're gonna go to eat, get something nice. Unless you only can eat salads. But, like, get something else. So, no, this place, the only appetizer they had was salads. And... In that hour that my friend and I were waiting for service, or waiting for food, I, I always say food instead of service. It's just how I say it. So in the hour, my friend and I were waiting for our two six-inch speeches, which should have taken max 30 minutes. Like, two other groups of people come in, and both of these people have like eight little tweens coming back from their gym, like gymnastic meet. Because they're wearing like their little costumes. And me and my friend are looking at each other like, oh no, <laughs> we are so glad we came in before them. But one of those tables, they got their salads before our pizza. One of them got one of their pizzas before me and my friend got our two six inch pizzas. We're like, what's going on? And this restaurant is like meant to be like a casual dining. It's not like super fancy, but it's not like too how do I say? It's not meant to be too cheap. You know, $20 pizzas is expensive. Uh, TLDR, I'm never going there again. Okay, pause, fifth place. Do go out to eat, I typically don't get appetizers anyway. Cause since ever since I moved, I've been like watching my portions whenever I have regular meals. So I don't binge eat anymore. So because of that, my stomach can only carry so much food. So if I get appetizers at a restaurant, I will not have enough space for my regular entree. <laughs> there was one time a while ago. I ordered, what was it? I think onion rings before I had pasta. And they were huge onion rings. It was like six onion rings that were like four inches diameter. 
And I was full from the onion rings. So I was like picking away at my pasta. I was like, I should not order appetizers ever again. But I am also convinced. Whenever you order appetizers at a restaurant, I'm convinced, conspiracy, that they take longer on your entree. I haven't actually timed this. I should. I genuinely should. Because usually they get the appetizers out quick. Super quick. But then... The entree takes forever. But anytime I order no appetizer, they get the entree out like twice as fast. And also, growing up, we never ordered appetizers. Because if you go out to eat and you get a drink, not necessarily alcoholic, but you get a drink, appetizer, and entree, that's going to be like minimum 50 bucks. And I ain't spending 50 bucks per person no more. Ain't no way. Stream ends when I get first. Clean? Man, there's so many Yoshis. I hate this. Makes me feel like... I need to ride you. No, not... <laughs> Like, I need to choose Yoshi. <laughs> the Rabbit Robin fries are so good. When was the last time I had Red Robin? I think the last time I had Red Robin was like when I was dating a previous partner, so that was what? Oh my god, five years ago? Holy shit. I don't remember what it was. What I do remember is that their strawberry shake was really good. What is the best dine and fry then? I think the only good french fry is curly fries. I don't like a fry that's too thick. If I'm gonna get a thick fry, I'd rather just get potato wedges. I just wanted to hit him. That was a snipe. I've only gotten fries without salt twice. One time because I ordered McDonald's delivery. This was ages ago. Before, like, we canceled McDonald's. Like I ordered McDonald's delivery and ordered fries without salt. The worst decision I've made in my whole life. I'm not even kidding. It was so bad. <laughs> they were literally tasteless. And then, my roommates and I went up to, like, a... It was a local burger place. And we've been seeing it for a while, and we finally went a while ago. And we ordered fries normally. My sister got seasoned fries. So they had, like parsley and cheese and garlic on them but the base fries themselves had no salt and they were so bad like the actual texture was scrumptious but having no salt on the fries abysmal i get trying to cut back on sodium but i think getting no salt on your fries should be a crime Surely I'll win this one.
no boost. There was nothing there. Nothing there. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> this happened two weeks ago. I was at the doctor's office. And this was a clinic that had a lot of old people in it. It was like a heart doctor, okay? And I get in the elevator, and the doors are about to close, and I see like two people wanting to get on the elevator. I go to press the keep door open button and it doesn't work. <laughs> and I'm, I have a mask on, right? But like my eyes, my eyes are agape. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and the door is just closed. And I'm like frantically pressing the door open button. And I felt so bad. Cause like, they don't know that the button was broken. All they see is that, hey, this jackass named Peace has closed the door on me. And I am so glad I didn't see those two people on my way out. It would have been horrible. Nice try, jackass. Okay, I don't know if you threw that in front of me. Fifth, I deserve that. I should have thrown the bob on behind. You know what I do gotta throw you guys? An ad. Because we are an hour into stream. So it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing. For $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing on the thunk. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if we got a Prime sub available. <laughs> they just think, hey, she closed the door on us. I, I think they squeezed in a jackass in that thought bubble. <laughs> okay, after the ad, we're gonna keep playing. I have 30 minutes to get first, and if I don't get first, I'm never streaming again. Hashtag real, hashtag not clickbait. Nah, but... Okay, if it's Weaving Bow Road, I might have a chance. Possibly. If I lose, I'm blaming the thumb. I'm blaming the thumb. I'm not gonna talk. I'm just gonna focus on this race. I want the believers to have a dub.
Okay, I'm gaming. Fifth place, not too bad. Clap by that green. Come on. Okay, third? <clears throat> I just gotta get some good items. Nice treasure. Done. I had no protection against the red. Even if I had an item. Because I got hit right as I hit the item box, so I would have fallen off. Madrid Drive. Madrid Drive. Oh my god, is that Bart Simpson? Believers, don't worry, I'll get a dub. Unless... Wait, wait, there's only 11 people. I might have a chance. die I know I won't stop playing it unless there's like Mario Kart 9 finally I think the only way it'll die is if they stop online services like with the previous consoles okay who's stalling someone's stalling I wanted to change characters anyway. Yoshi on Yoshi on Yoshi. I mean. Wait, they all, they're all in d d double digits. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Look, 13k, 10k, 14k. Uh-oh. Can I just leave? I don't want to be in this one. Lightable dodge. Wait, they might win. Oh, come on! Dang! 
Whatever's queued up, they had fifth place, and I was gonna say, man, loser POV. Shit. That was a good comeback. They got really lucky with that bolt dodge. Yeah, I use professional terminology. Uh-oh. Why is it taking so long? Did I GC again? Oh, okay, I'm good. Easy. You know what? I'm not gonna DQ because I think it's more impressive to beat somebody who is higher rank. And I'll stand by that opinion until I keep losing. Whoa, what are they doing? Whoa, that was crazy. You know what else is crazy? <laughs> I don't know. That was not supposed to be for me. I think the worst thing having to do with doctors is calling and having to be put on hold. Or just in general, being put on hold is like the worst thing ever, right? I wish there was like a fast pass function, but for phone calls. Like, I'm not saying that I should pay, but you know what? I'll pay five bucks to be at top of queue. When you get the devastating, you are 51st in line. If I can pay five bucks to skip those 50 people in front of me, I'll do it. But then, <laughs> if they do that, <laughs> It's just not going to incentivize the workers to get people in and out quickly. But you know what? We're, we're in such late stage capitalism, I'm surprised they haven't done it yet. Whoa, that skip is crazy. That was a mistake. Classic. I'm gonna stay in this lobby. Cause I'm stubborn. I've gotten so many first place on Sky High Sunday, I don't necessarily like the track, but I'll do it. Because I want a dub.
If I don't get first, I won't do anything. Dude, I got 7k! <laughs> Shield. You're not doing too bad. Feeling evil. <gasps> oh my god. Best item in the game. Second place. First has a banana. There's a blue shell. And I have a red shell. <laughs> Wait, party cat, that's the person who fell off in this exact spot last time. Need something quick. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. My uncle works at Nintendo. Okay, I think I have a pretty solid lead right now. And a third grade shot. This is in the bag. Nothing can stop me. There is a blue shell approaching. I did it. Wait, I think somebody DC'd. No! Look at that. 7k, lobby with people of 10k, and I got first. You know what that means? Stream ends. I was I said over and ends at the same time. That is a dub. Look at that crown on my head. You know the rules. I'll play for a little bit more. We'll play for another 10 minutes. You know what that means. Will I get first day? Believers? I did it just for you. And as promised, chat gets a sub. The first non-sub to chat for the rest of the stream gets a gifted sub for me personally. The Peason underscore 17. Dang, I knew it once I saw that track. I don't know, it just seems like... I think it's because that track doesn't have any skips. So similar to Excite Bike, it's more about items. But I got really lucky. At the end, the green shell and then another green shell, two protection items. I had a solid enough lead to where the blue shell wouldn't even hit me. Easy. Dang, I feel good. You know what? Maybe I like Excite Bike. Okay, don't- don't say I'm weird, but I just noticed Yoshi is wearing boots. I thought he always just had his grippers out. I didn't think he had boots. Just me? Okay. <laughs> but what he- claws? I don't think his hands have claws on him. For some reason, I just always imagine claws.
Dang, somebody else took the hit for me. side plan. But you would think it builds up your... I almost said adrenaline. Momentum? Acceleration. Lean? Goodness, there's so many people here. Oh, I, I missed the ramp. Good one. You know, I got first place and then seventh place, so one plus seven is seventeen is my favorite number. I'm good at Wildwoods and Yoshi's Island, but if I get Yoshi's Island, I will win. The glasses are really bugging me today. I don't necessarily need new pairs, but these ones are crooked and it bugs me. Yoshi has always made boot has always had boots and makes Yoshi Yoshi. Well, I'm just clueless. <laughs> you know what, Luigi? Since you're the first non-sub the chat, you get a gifted sub from me. And I'm glad it went to you. There we go! Enjoy the emotes and the ad free viewing. I'm giving you a sub not because um, I'm playing favorites, it's because I got first. And I would never go back on a promise. Okay. I see that Yoshi's boots are yellow. I thought they were red, if anything. Watch this. Clean. Dude, I'm getting like, no items. Wait, I have a chance? Oh, 
I thought they would take the hit from me. Dang. That's like an eight. Nine! <laughs> I'm trying. I, I'm I'm genuinely trying my best. Ooh, cheap cheap peach, and I literally win. I'll do two more races, and then we'll do eastward. Cause I think eastward should take me like three, maximum four hours. Uh oh, why is everybody leaving? I think they're scared of me. I got this in the bag. You think all the Yoshi, all the different Yoshis have different colored shoes? Oh wait, there's a bunch of Yoshis playing. I can just look at their shoes. Yeah, the, the blue Yoshi has indigo shoes. And let's look at the yellow Yoshi has green shoes. Okay, so they do have different, they got different drip. Why does the pink one have brown? It's like the most lame color. No, but you know what? Like a tan boot does brighten it up. It... I wish more designer shoes were comfortable. I want to be dripped out, but. I think it's kind of embarrassing to put, like, little foam inserts. Looks like- I know nobody sees it. But in my head, I feel like it's more embarrassing. Because whenever I go out, no matter what I'm wearing, I will always wear my tennis shoes. And granted, they're really cute tennis shoes. But it's because I can't stand for too long, so the shoes are more comfortable. In serio. No, they'll never know it's me. Come back. There was only nine people in here. Okay, I'll do one more. One more. Amsterdam Drift. Final race of the day. Let's do one last prediction. Will I get first? You guys have one minute. Go Gamba. I've gotten one first place today. Maybe I can get another.
Okay. No promises. I'm good at this map. I'm just not good at online for this map. Okay, third place. Not too bad. Swear. Jackass. <gasps> I actually hit someone. Too bad. Fifth place, Rainbow Road. Jackers! Why is your- Oh, there's only nine people? Okay, six place is still pretty good. Did I get first? No, not that time. I'm sorry, I tried. I had like second. Or third? I had third. Okay, no more last race. That was our last race for today. Cause I wanna beat Eastward. I wanna get 100% achievements. So, let's get that set up. Well, I'm gonna get set up, guys. If you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes and you get to tap in chat. I'm also going to verify that the audio is synced. It's good. Okay. I'm also going to change my border color because I like when things match. I should open the game, huh? Amorillo is yellow in Spanish. I almost ran an ad. <laughs> Wrong button. Wait, I'm at 19 subs? How? Am I really at 19 subs? That can't be right. Guys, if we have one more sub, I'll hit my goal. Wait, that's crazy. Oh, wait, because I gifted chat one sub. Plus one. Thank you for the follow! Thank you! Thank you! Can we get some yo's? I appreciate that. We're not doing Mario Kart. This is what real gamers play. Okay. 100%. Achievement. Attempt is attempt. 95%. Recipes. I think I spelled that right. Whatever. If if there's a spelling mistake in the title, I don't care. I'm in. Okay. So the last time we left off playing Eastward Octopia, I have beat the main story. 
I'm still at 95% recipes found, but I learned that once you beat the main story, that's when you unlock the secret characters and then secret seeds. So all the hours that I spent looking for the stupid orange tree was a waste. So my goal today is to try and get 100% achievements. I have all the fish found. I have all the hidden eggs found. I just need to get the crop, friends, and recipe achievements. I'm like this close to beating it. I hope this will take max three hours. That's my goal today. What is Eastward? Eastward is an indie pixel... It's not an RPG, but the original Eastward game is... The playthroughs on my VOD channel. Eastward is my favorite game of all time. This is the DLC, which is like a farming sim. But it's in the same style of the original game. If you haven't played Eastward, I would give it a shot. It's really good. But if you're watching today, this will have like no story spoilers essentially, because this is all post game. Right now, I'm just grinding. But the music is nice, so it's nice to just like listen in the background. Even though I played both endings, I decided to keep Mother on the farm. Because you know what? I'm going to save the world and stop the apocalypse in the alternate, alternate dimension. I think I ordered seeds? Yeah, I ordered a boatload of seeds. <laughs> My goodness. I'm going to talk to the old man and see what he has to say. Chickens are easy to please. Just pet them every day, and they'll lay more eggs. Straightforward. Oh, the fridge is gone. Hello, mother. I wanted to say thank you. Yeah. No problem. Hmm. I can only assume the way to get the final crops is yes, go back to Alva's house. And then just wait and pass through the days for more visitors to come. Because the final villagers will only appear once you beat the main story. So that's what I'm going to try and do today. I think I'll start taking care of my animals again. I should stop neglecting them. The only reason why I did so the other day is because I just wanted to get to the end. There you go. I don't think I fed them for like a week. <laughs> um... I still think I'm just gonna plant normal seeds. I don't wanna plant the grains because I already have so many. Because I've grinded so many extra days. Wait, it's day 123. Cute. I wonder how to get the animals outside. outside. No say. They don't need sun. I'll just give them vitamins. Oh, the town! We have actual roads? Yo, that's wild. 
Oh, the lanterns are so pretty. Wow. It's so cute. It is nice to see the town change as you progress. Yeah, no new buildings. Is this the game where two people are underground? Yes! This is the same game. So this is technically the DLC. The lore for the DLC is that you have the same characters, but it's an alternate universe. So they're kind of like two separate games, but not. Like, the, the lore is completely separate, basically. Moment of truth? Oh my god, she's- holy moly! Okay, okay, okay. She's at home. And there's oranges on the tree! It's a tangerine! A tangerine grew! Yep, that looks to be the right size and color. Hey, John. I have a request. Can you brew up a drink? Something with a little kick? You learn to cook? S-E-X on the beach. Orange and vodka. Damn, that looks pretty good, and I don't- I'm not allowed to have alcohol. You want a drink too, Isabel? No, no, no. It's for Elva. You got an orange seed. Finally! I'm back! Huh, why are you guys here? Isabel wanted us to- I- hey, um, was asking about the controls for Sonic Punk. If there was any way to improve it. Really? That's odd. I need to pause. Nowhere online does it say that you get the oranges after you beat the game. It was implied that she just spawns in the house. This is crazy. I spent like four hours waiting for this cutscene. Only for it to be like the day after I beat the game. You know what? I'm gonna make the Eastward DLC walkthrough. I'll do it. Oh my god. I'm back in. I'm dialed in. Now that we've gotten the orange seed, I should be able to buy some, I think. If not, order them. There it is! Orange seeds. $300? I'm broke. Let's sell some durian. I can plant them tomorrow. I'm gonna go back to my farm, plant my one orange seed, use the Nutrisoil to have it ripen today, and give them the alcohol today. My goodness, I cannot believe it was that easy. That suffering, all that turmoil. Okay, they're still here. Nice.
Nutrisoil activated. Thirty five PM. Three oranges. Hopefully it's in the recipe or in here. Yes, it is. One orange and one vodka. Come on. Alva's favorite mixed drink. I'm gonna deliver it right now. I don't care too much about wasting the neutral soil. I just want to beat the mission. I'll leave that thing to you guys. Are you hiding something from me? Wait, I made it though. Can I not give it to them now? I'll invite them to dinner, and I'll craft, and I'll serve it at dinner. Because I have enough vodka and oranges to make an extra, just in case. Because maybe I have to give it to them tomorrow? It's getting late. Got an hour left. Let's wrap the day here. another on the beach. I 
mean, it kind of makes sense that I can't give them the meal the same day, because who would have an orange ready in a day, right? Ninety five percent of recipes collected. Still ninety five. Hello, Mother. Pam said, Reap what you sow. That is the simple truth. Okay, don't make me regret taking you home with us. Just say thank you and do your job. the oranges though like I'm glad that I didn't have to wait a long time for them Let's check the map. Little Bun! We'll be here soon. No strangers, but Little Bun is coming soon. Finally! It's been a while since we've seen it. The electric pump you ordered last week finally came in yesterday. What about the tools I ordered last month? I didn't get scammed, did I? Don't worry, you did not. I got you your drink. I'm sure it'll surprise Alva. Who would have thought a drink like SCX on the beach here? Did you finish brewing that drink I asked for? Yes, sir. Did John make this? Gotta hand it to him. Thank you so much. Here, take this. <gasps> Strawberry seeds! I want that right now. strawberry seeds and then I'll do Nutrisoil tomorrow. They're $500? That's crazy. My goodness. You know the drill. Sell all my fruit.
my goodness. They're so expensive. Okay, I bought a total of 18, so, because she gave me one, and then I ordered 17, so 18 total. Yeah, whenever they're on the map, they are highlighted blue. ready you this is where my strawberries are gonna go strawberries take six days makes it a star in the culinary and medicinal worlds. Mango Sago. Milk. Orange. Mango. A refreshing treat to beat the summer heat. I only got one orange left though, I think. Let's make the mango sago. That looks so good. Oh my god. And orange chicken. I just need orange. Okay. I feel good. Ninety-six percent. Izzy, have you been keeping something for me? Yep. Don't think you can pull a fast one on me. So, what is it? Here. S E X on the beach. So, how is it? I didn't think. You were the sentimental type, Izzy. Why are you crying? Because I'm happy, you silly. I love a sisterly love. Just not incest. That's, like, not cool. It's raining! I've never tried the Nutrisoil on a rainy day. Ooh! <laughs> okay, I'll plant more strawberries since it's Nutrisoil day.
Okay, let's check the map. No strangers in town. Alva likes oranges. I'm gonna try to talk to everybody today to see if they have any new quests. Have you been to other cities? There's tons of people. And lots to eat. But everything's more expensive. Typical. John, Sam, why don't you two come to our shop today and browse our wares? No. Rosa Williams is a savvy businessman, whatever that is. But I think he's more like our pops. Duh? Then I agree, sir. These are the pix balls I've collected. What if I just cop them? <laughs> but you know what I do get to cop some from some you But you know what I you know what I do get to cop from some of you guys watching? The right to watch because guys we are two hours in the stream so it's time for me to run some ads you can avoid that by subscribing for 4 99 just five dollars skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long or you can link amazon prime to twitch and hashtag sub for free with prime click subscribe see if you have a sub available and we're back in I knew everyone, including you two, could breathe new life into Octopia. Our town is the hottest tourist destination in the city's newspaper. Why is it wavy? It's like that hot effect. Or the heat wave effect. Bro's <laughs> been teaching me math. But it's too hard. I wonder if that Tomo guy can upgrade me too. No, he can't. Sorry. Okay, I just gotta talk to the sisters and then Silva. And mother. She always says the weather is nice when it's raining. <laughs> I think she's just stupid. Nutrisoil activated. <gasps> and they're already watered? Yo! That's cool. I love that. And we got strawberries. Seeds. Oh, okay. Nice. I thought only the plots where you put seeds you could plant, but I guess not. Man, I'll just plant everything. Why not? Okay, not the trees. I got old day.
Okay, it is cool seeing them all pop up like that. for days. When Isabel says she wants strawberries, I'll give her strawberries. No new dialogue for Silva. Then there were none. For once, John is like running low on stamina. Let's check a recipe book. Now that we got strawberries, let's see. Strawberry mochi. Strawberry shortcake? Milk, strawberries, and flour. Were strawberries made for cake or was cake made for strawberries? Strawberry milk, milk, and strawberries. Has a cute color and a delicious flavor. Surprisingly, it's Isabel's drink of choice. Ooh! We can raise her up now. That strawberry milk looks pretty damn good, though. Holy. Talk to her. We gotta find the ice maker. It's gotta be in the basement. 
it's got to be. Yes, it is. I can make all the ice you need, but I ain't no time machine. You got one ice. Why, thank you. Okay, the ice maker's got to be at least every night. these up just because I got a lot of ingredients because why not I don't really need these. I'll hold. Even though I literally have a hundred cucumbers. <laughs> Let's get to cooking. Finally, melon sorbet. That looks so good. Holy. Oh, I need ice for durian ice cream. Okay, so tomorrow. Strawberry shortcake. Strawberry milk. Orange chicken. Okay, so that's all that I can make. All I have left is during ice cream. Let's double check my recipe book. A hundred and fifty-two out of one fifty-four. Two more left. Oh my god, I'm almost done. I'm gonna check my crop trophy. Harvest trophy. 34, 35. One more seed. I know what it is, but I accidentally looked it up. One more seed and then I'm done. And it's probably gonna be from Little Bun. I'm this close! To celebrate Sam, let's have strawberry shortcake. That sounds so good too. Angel food cake is so good. Or just rather any cake is delicious. Oh my god. I'm changing the title. 99%. Holy moly. The end is near. Mother's not here. Mother's at the campsite. Alba's at the train station. Okay, everybody's in a different spot. Wait, it's one o'clock. I gotta go wake up with my sister. I'll be right back.
I'm back. I almost locked myself out of my room accidentally. <laughs> prettiest treats the biggest has like a purple trunk I'm so glad I got the oranges finally oh my goodness y'all didn't even know mother. I'm sure visitors will love it once we clean up the ruins. I mean, you kind of did though, right? I want to talk to most everyone every day, I think. Bright windows, lustrous floor. They call this a convenience store in the city. You can buy anything anytime you want. Ain't ever said nothing about my lack of intelligence. I'll do whatever he says. And pops, of course. The way I see it, Daniel, someone as talented as you should be the big bro. It's just all about each, isn't it? A big bro, I mean someone who calls the shots. Do people really say that? <laughs> okay. Finally, it's the weekend. Hopefully, we don't run into any awful tourists. Wait, you mean me? Where's Isabel? They did say strawberry milk was her favorite drink. There you are. Okay, nothing new yet. Just Earthborn. If I have to play through Earthborn, I don't want to do that. I genuinely don't want to do that. Go talk to mother. So it appears this seed is inside it. No wonder I sense this mysterious power. Was the plant growing on there before? The cabin's completely empty. Every last item's been taken. The cabin door opens feebly, the tower having lost its vitality. I don't think the plant was on there. Okay, I need to look at it. I need to see for myself.
Okay, I don't want to skim through the bot, I lied. I think Plasmin there. Hmm. Peace, I too? Hmm. Ninety-nine percent! I forgot to check my ice box, dang it! I gotta check that every day. Recipes? No, okay. Little bun in two days, mystery person in four. And they want orange soda, I can make that. Mother's still at the campsite. Okay, I think the only person I want to talk to is Isabel, because she said strawberries were her favorite. That's got to be a mission. Oh, I'm out of feed. Same dialogue. Let's go buy more feed. seeds because I assume little bun is gonna give me a new seed I'll buy to top off at 12 of each Okay, I stopped off at Chili, Chili, Chili. I'm gonna get at least 20k. I got a lot of fruit.
Okay, that's 20k. Last thing order was chilies. Four more strawberries, four more strawberries. So if I need four strawberries, that means I need at least 2k. off all my seeds to have a total of 12 each that way i'll be ready for the next few days because i assume when little one comes she'll give me a new seed because usually she'll give me a recipe or a seed set the aircraft to automatically land when it's out of fuel. That's why we crashed into your house. And you know what? You stayed here forever and I love that. Now that the strawberry juice is boiling, next up milk. Oh. Ah. Uh, another failure. What experiment are you working on, Alva? Experiment? Oh, no, no, no. I'm trying to make strawberry milk. Oh, right, John. What is it, Alva? Have you guys heard of, um, think you can lend a hand? I want to give Izzy strawberry milk. I don't know what keeps going wrong. Roger that, John. One strawberry milk coming right up. You know what? I got one with me right now. What could have possibly went wrong? Give her the strawberry milkshake. Bingo! Now that's strawberry milk, and quite a tasty one to boot. What was I doing wrong? Well, Alva, you're an engineer, and John is a chef. <laughs> Got him. Guess I'll stick to rocket science. Anyway, thanks guys. Take this! Ooh! Water and can upgraded. Ooh, okay! Let's see if she has anything else to say. What could have possibly went wrong? Probably too high heat. It's very easy to like mess up milk when you're putting it on heat. You can curdle it. You can burn it easily. Okay. I knew it had to do something with the strawberry milk. I think the final seed has got to be from Little Bun or that stranger that's coming in a few days. Either way, I'm ready. Let's check out this new watering can. Oh, it is three tiles. Okay, love that. I kind of want to just skip till when Little Bun comes here. So two days? Dang. Oh, I gotta make an arm soda for that guy. Oh, wow, everything's done.
I'll make two orange sodas. Easy, we got loads of stuff. On to the next day. Ninety nine percent of recipes. Mother's at the beach. Okay. I just realized I didn't buy feed yesterday. I'll do it today. I'm gonna double check my characters to see if anybody's missing any food. Isabel got the milk. That was her secret item. My well, little bun doesn't have any more food. Three strangers. And nobody has any more missions for right now besides the strangers. So I think I'm just gonna breeze through the days. I don't think I need to talk to anybody. Lanterns are so pretty the way they move. I love it. Imagine mothers trapped in the mines. There you are, mother. In the Esther, I mean, where I lived. I could see the ocean, but it was always freezing and covered in mist. Well, now you can see it. Is she gonna want to go back? face off this guy for fun. We meet again. Want a rematch? Why not? It's been a while since I've fished, sir. Ooh, plus four.
Man, this guy stinks. He's just a washed up old man. Oops. Get cooked. Fifteen. I don't have a fishing pole to give you this time, but take this. Don't get too comfortable. I'll be back. A broccoli seed. Okay, so I think I've got everything I can from him. Stand to the farm. Not three in a row. Okay. Holy. I love Alva. She's my favorite. I think I can wrap this day here. There's something still moving in this cage. I have no clue what that is. Yeah, two more recipes left. The end is near. <clears throat> okay, I can't chop the maple tree. Let's get our daily ass. Here. I thought you'd be here tomorrow. Little bun. Little bun. 
Are you okay? <laughs> I finally found it! The cuisine of dreams! The cuisine of dreams? This! Jade caviar! Jade caviar? What's jade caviar? Sounds impressive! What do you say, Chef John? This isn't tough for you, is it? I've been dying to try it out. I wonder what it tastes like. You learn to cook jade caviar. You need one fish king. I got that already. Can't make it? It's not that. The ingredients are just hard to come by. Yeah, so I've heard. I heard there was a legendary fish up in the mountain. A legendary fish? It's gotta be super tasty, huh? Of course, silly. I'm sure it won't be easy to catch, though. Huh. I knew I should eat breakfast. Plan B. Take this recipe instead. And a signal flare. Shoot the flare when you're done cooking. And I'll show up whenever you want to flash. Until next time. She's giving us fireworks. Why is she always in a hurry? I'll make it right now. I should have at least one of the kingfish. I have two. That looks so pretty. Dude, I love caviar. Sparkles like gemstones, and it is said to shine with surreal colors during a banquet. Okay, what is said signal flare? I ain't seeing it. I think she lied. <laughs> she did not give us fireworks. Oh, it says the mission's complete. Okay, well. Oh, well. Let's check the recipe trophy. One more! Mother's still at the beach. I'll go check, but I assume she's gonna say the same thing. Yeah, same thing. Eight? No way! Three month resub? Thank you, Katie! Can we get some weighties? <laughs> In chat, thank you, hon. Three months? You should have gotten a new badge. But thank you. Hope you're doing well, man. I 
I will never get over your username. It, it always makes me chuckle. Okay, now... I just gotta wait for Little Bun to come back. Two days for the stranger. Interesting, the caviar doesn't show up on Little Bun's character profile. Assume if I go to bed and wake up, she'll be at my door the next morning. That's what I think. Oh, I gotta check my ice bin. Give me that ice. Imagine I eat the caviar. Ninety-nine percent. So close. One more recipe, one more crop, and then I'm done. Okay, besides the friends, I need more friends. Hello, mother. You're back home. Is she just gonna keep saying the same shit? Okay, no timeline for Little Bun. Stranger will be coming tomorrow for soda. I am speed running right now. I think I'm just gonna go straight to bed. I wanna see the stranger tomorrow. Let's see where the stranger is. Mother's back at the beach. The stranger's at the train station. Typical. I'm gonna talk to him first. Oh, 
Oh, these are the kids that you play Earthborn with. In the original Eastward. Today is the first expedition of the Raggedy Pirates. What awaits us? Caves, treasure. Pretty girls. Okay, calm down, man. Get off the chair. Snap back to reality. <laughs> hey, you punks. It's so bright, like a real sweat fest. You'll have to drag me out kicking and screaming. Who's calling us city kids? If only I had an orange soda. Me too. Then I'd be brave enough to venture outside. Orange soda. Me three. Hopefully it's just one soda I gotta give him. Ah, that's the stuff. Don't hog it all, Eric. Leave some for me. AC on full blast drinking soda home? Sweet home. I've got an idea. Jackson, you said you wanted to go on an adventure. Your captain orders you to bring back the treasure. Why is it always me? He's the one who wants to shake things up a bit. So, what should we do? Then it's decided. Back to my house to draft up a battle plan. And have my mom make us some cookies. Aye, aye, captain. Aye, aye. Alright, thanks for the soda. We'll be sure to come back. Take this. Thank you for the lemon. The girl with the white hair sure is a cutie pie. Girls are more like why. See that old beardy guy next to her? He'll kill you if he hears that. You're not scaring me. He's got the eyes of a killer. Oh, what the frick? Yo. City kids sure are weird. Give them soda and they're gone. He called me a killer. I'll kill him. To prove he was right. I bet those were the last three people. Jackson? Eric and Tato and Jackson are city slickers. They mostly just drink soda with the AC on, full blast, seldom venturing into town. Kentaro. Oh, there's another food for Kentaro. Can be seen frequently playing or discussing Earthborn with Eric and Jackson. Eric. Eric, Kentaro, and Jackson call themselves the Raggedy Pirates, but they won't even read the station. One more food for Eric. Okay. I'm gonna check my friend trophy. No way. <laughs> okay. Unexpected? Why is there a cactus by the beach? And it actually sings. <laughs> okay, weird. Not what I expected at all. The little bun is coming soon, so I'll just keep skipping through the days.
Mother is still here. Yeah, but about the same thing. I think from this point on, I'm not going to tend to the garden. Besides my top crops, I just want to get through the days at this point. I have one more crop, one more recipe. I'm going to start actually speedrunning. Yeah, I made everything. One more recipe left. Oh, I gotta cook tomorrow too. I bet those kids are gonna want shave ice. Next time they come back. But you know who better come back? The non-subs. Because guys, we are three hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Give your copy and get ad reviewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you get a Prime sub available. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Get back to it. Mother's back here. Same thing. No timeline for little bun yet. I'm only gonna tend these top crops. Cause I got a bow little fruit. I don't need nothing else. Oops, I did too many. I guess I'll do the other three. Dang it.
We should not use the oranges. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> Mother's back at the beach. happening Little bun in three days, Jackson in six days. And he wants coconut milk. Okay, it's kind of a spoiler that they tell the recipes in the menu, but you know what? I don't mind it. I'm glad it's telling me that little bun is coming back. I needed to see that. City kids better give me the final seed. now so don't forget Aki get my daily yellow ice One crepe, only one crepe left, so I gotta make it tomorrow. I'm skipping. I'm a speedrunner. Holy moly. Is here. Oh, no, he's not. Here is not on the map.
Weird. I'll check the beach today just in case. Okay, he just didn't show up on the map. Maybe because Mother was there? Weird. Where is Mother? I think it's a glitch. Back to farming. the whole bottom row. <laughs> Simple recipes? Cause why not? I have 60 daikon. If I did my math correctly, Little Bun should be outside. I did my math wrong. Tomorrow! <laughs> Oopsie. Mother's back at the campsite. I'll check on her. See if she has anything new to say.
Now, if I've done my math correctly, little bun should be outside. There she is. How's it going? Still haven't hooked the fish king? A rare fish like that for sure won't be easy to catch. Plot twist, I had two. It's so sparkly! That's the jade caviar I was talking about! I guess I lose. Who would have thought you'd be just as skilled as a fisherman? At least it puts me hard and easy to give you this. You got a mystery conch. I call it magic bait. It never runs out, but there's a catch. And by that, I mean only one catch each day. I want to test that out right now. One catch per day? Maybe it's like a guaranteed? I assume it's like a guaranteed. Kingfish. One magic conch. Oh, it makes rare fish spawn. Oh, okay. Naisu? Yo, that's pretty good. That'd be good if you needed to grind money, but like... I've already grinded so much, I don't think I'll need it. But still a banger item. Hi, little bun. Mystery conch can only be used once per day, so use it wisely. You'll be swimming in fish. I am, why, thank you. Jackson will be here in three days, and then Hida next. I just want that final seed. That's literally all I want. The mystery conch was cool and all, but... That's not what I want. The 99 is haunting me. <laughs> Two more days for the kid. Everything else is normal, so just watering. Mystery seed? Bok choy.
Okay, the kid will be here tomorrow. I need to remember tomorrow. Straight to bed I go. Wait, where's mother? At the beach. Jackson is in town. Oh, and he's by the beach. Okay. Uh oh. I heard there's monsters. You mean those sea of enemies? I can swallow people in one gulp. Oh, shut up. Keep it up, and you ain't stepping a single foot in. You a scaredy cat? I think someone's coming. Oh, it's that beardy guy. And that girl Jackson has a crush on. Who said I was scared? It, it's just an abandoned house. Just you watch. I'm going in. Show us your guts. Hey, who shut the door? Let me out of here. Is there any treasure inside? Are you joking? It's just a cruddy old house. Hey, mister. Want to go check it out with us? You can squash those anemones like bugs. Don't, don't, don't come any closer! Captain Eric takes the stage. Don't me! I'm just kidding, Bones! He ain't grown ups instead! Jackson, watch out for them anemones! Anemones, where? Eric, Kentaro! What are you guys doing here? The anemones eat you? Relax. Mr. Beardy beat him to a pulp. Mr. Beardy? What's he doing here? Yeah, we were almost goners. I think this calls a toast to our victor. Pirates, raise your mugs. Uh, I don't think we're old enough yet. Well, then, raise your orange sodas. Orange soda again? Don't you like anything else? 
How about some coconut milk? That's more like it. I got that right here, sir. We should be able to find some coconut milk here at the beach. Smells delish. Is that coconut milk for us? What's this? Is this really coconut milk? It's the best I've ever had. I still could go for an orange soda. Well done, pirates. I'm pleased with our performance. Here's your reward. You got a pineapple seed. One more of this, I proclaim. From henceforth, Mr. Beardy is our pirate cruise chief. Ain't no way. Kintaro's second item was coconut milk. Pirate soup's coconut milk. I don't think there's anybody else. The only dialogue I'm missing is Silva and then Child Daniel. No other food. You know what time it is. We're using the magic soil. The final recipe. Sorry, I was glitching. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I stopped the glitch. I'm I'm planting it. Now I'm gonna use the Nutrigo right now. I'm so excited, the final seed! Here we go. I'll also order more seeds. They gotta be so expensive though. Anticipation, I'll go on the bridge. I'm stalling. And this is so satisfying. One pineapple. 
pineapple rice. Rice and pineapple. Serve in the leftover pineapple peel for the ultimate presentation and flavor. This, I think in the first game, gave me so much health. Of course, they made it the last item. I want to make it right now. Where is it? Seriously, where is it? Oh my god, usually they pin new recipes at the top. The final recipe, I'll let it play out. Pineapple rice. Let's check our journal. I have three. All 154 recipes found and cooked. Oh, okay. I'm gonna harvest the crops first because that will bother me. trophy a harvest memorial has appeared oh that's so cute I don't know what those blue things are but we got monkeys hey the monkey of top is just waggling his tongue Trophies are trophies. They're just statues. Okay, that's four to five trophies. Yeah, four to five. And the final trophy. It better be a statue of me, Master Chef Joan. A chef memorial has appeared. Wow. That's so cool. I like how it's kind of hidden too. You gotta go up to it. There we go. I'm gonna double check on my characters. Yeah, Daniel's still missing something. Same with Silva. Okay, so officially, that's all five of the trophies, the recipes, crops, friends, hidden eggs, and fish. I got the trophy that was in the mines that led to the earthborn portal in the basement. I don't know anything past this point. The only thing I can think of is beating earthborn, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to end the day and it's going to tell me 100% recipes. To celebrate, let's have our final meal be pineapple rice. A hundred percent recipes completed.
I did it. Did I order something? Oh, I did. I thought that was story. Yeah, nobody else is coming. I think I'll pause here. I did what I wanted. I got all five trophies that are in-game, including the mine trophies, so technically six. The only achievement I see being left is the Earthborn, which I genuinely don't want to do. But there we go. I think this is like my first time ever completing a game. Basically 100% of the achievements done. Like I said, last time when I beat the story, Eastward DLC, 8 out of 10, very solid. I just wish I would have waited. I should have waited. That way I could have like looked at a walkthrough and not wasted time, but I did it. I got all five or six of the trophies in game. Dude, I'm so proud of myself. Also, it's over. That took about... Wait, let's see. Dang. That's probably about 20 hours, a little less than 20 hours. Wait, 14 hours? When I ended, it said I had 17. Wait. <laughs> um, weird. Okay, so that was about 14 to 20 hours. I swear it said 17. Or maybe I just can't read. For a DLC that only costs 5 $6, that much content is a lot. A lot of story, very grindy. But I got all the accomplishments, and I'm proud of that. That was the entirety of the Eastward Octopia DLC. Thank you for watching. If you watched live, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you. Now we can play something else. Am I right? Holy moly. <laughs> there we go. Oh my goodness, I beat it. That took about two hours today? I 100% of the game, besides the Earthborn, but I ain't doing it. I'm clickbait, I'll lie. Okay, guys, I gotta wrap it up here for today. Like I said, I gotta do errands later. So, we can go ahead and switch gears to calligraphy. If you want me to write your name, all you must do is use your channel points, and I will write your name. Going back to the classic sub, and I'll write your name titles. The plan is simple. Like I said, tomorrow I'm going to be finishing my playthrough of Paranormal Sat. I'll actually find the link. That way you guys can find it easier. Last time we did this, we ranked all of the- Okay, sorry. The video auto-played. <laughs> the video auto-played. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, right here. Mm -hmm. yeah, in Paranormal Sight, I have, oh wow, seven hours. Like, how long is Paranormal Sight? Paranormal Sight is 13 hours. Oh, so I'm about halfway through. Okay, makes sense. So that'll take about two streams. Okay. Guys, here's a playlist to the seven hours of gameplay footage I streamed of Paranormal Sight, which is a psychological horror. One of the best horror games I've ever played, like ever, genuinely. And we're going to finish it. So watch those streams that I just linked to catch up. It's about seven hours. It is story, so you kind of can't hop in. But you know what? It's followed through February, and I got to finish it. I think I'll save Spirit Fair for another time. Let's do 
Pokemon. Do 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 do. There you go. I'm so glad I beat Eastward finally. Like, finally! Hand reveal, yes! My thumb is still busted. I might actually have to go back and watch the VODs as well to, like, remember the voices I did. Because I remember one of the cops I gave, like, the extra Emily where he's like, Oh my goodness! Because <laughs> he kept, like, trying to rizz up the older cop. And then I, I gave the old man this type of voice. The protagonist was kind of like, Man, I don't know. Like, the breathy anime. I have to look back and see what I gave the other characters, though. Because I think in Paranormal Side, we watched most of the cop POV. We have to watch the high school girls POV and then the other half of the mother POV. Dude, my eye hurts. I was gonna say thank you so-and-so for gifting a sub because I saw it on my leaderboard. Wait, you can see it here. You can see it here, but it's me. It's literally me. <laughs> Thank you, Pishin, for the gifted. Oh, like I said, tomorrow... Oh, tomorrow afternoon stream, super special Pokemon Day stream. Make sure you watch. It will be in the afternoon because I got to do errands tomorrow morning. And then I think su on Wednesday, sorry, I keep on saying Sunday. Wednesday, will I will continue Paranormal Site. So you got two days to watch those VODs. Two days to do seven hours of content? I think you guys can do it. I spelled his name right. Katie the Nut Puncher. Once again, thank you, KD, for the three-month resub. I appreciate your continued support. Thank you. Keep watching the TikTok. I appreciate that. Plus one. Okay, now we can move on to channel point names. So if you have made a your name, all I must do is use your channel points. Do we have any stallers? Anybody? You guys got 10 seconds. Also, I'm thinking back. I cannot believe I got a dub in Mario Kart. It was looking not good for me, but you know what? I still did it. Mm-hmm. Five. My camera's over here. Three. Wait, five, three? I think I need to have a snack. Five, four, three, two, one. And purple. Thank you, Cool Bobo. Hi, welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. I'll do a magenta e purple. Hi, Cool Bobo.
Well, this is a really pretty purple. It's like a fuchsia. I don't use this one often because people don't redeem this color. <laughs> Oops for missing most of the stream. Don't worry about it. All you must know is that I got first place in Mario Kart Online, like a boss. And I actually beat Octopia. I got all the accomplishments. Good stream today. Okay. I'm going to wrap it up here for today. Thank you guys for watching. Andy Chatter Circus, thank you for hanging out on this... I was gonna say blessed Monday, but it's just a normal Monday. Okay, plan is simple. Tomorrow, super special Pokemon Day stream in the afternoon. Because I'm doing stuff in the morning. So make sure you watch because it will have viewer interaction. It'll only be like an hour or two long. So have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss it. Click smash that bell. Make sure it's turned on. And Wednesday, continuing Paranormal Sight. My complete playthrough. I have about six to eight hours left in the game. So probably one or two streams. Or like one really long stream, I'll be honest. So, wait, I, I can't copy and paste the link. Wait, I found it, I found it. I just had to open my chat logs. Click the link now. I have seven hours of footage from October. I'm actually beating it now. Click the link. Watch it now. That's your homework for tonight. Because we're picking it up on Wednesday morning. Or Wednesday at 11. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, thank you, KD, for the resub. I appreciate you. Thank you. It is 2.30. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Outro song. And I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. When the song ends, I end stream. I need to stop stalling. Song ends, I end. Anything you guys want to say at the last minute? You guys have 30 seconds. <laughs> Okay, bye guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.